Hi, welcome to The Pursuit of Truth. It is the 30th of May, 2018. And, uh, yeah, these are the other things I want to talk about. The first thing is the moon curvature. I was on Poncho Feats, and they were talking about the moon yesterday, on the 29th. Um, and it made me think about, wait a minute, and um, obviously we've got this uh, Earth curve curvature calculator. Um, and I was thinking, wait a minute, we were on the moon, several people have been on the moon, they had a camera, they showed us. Because I was thinking about the whole aspect of that picture of where you see them on the moon, you can see the Earth sort of crescent shaped in the distance. I'm not sure why it's crescent shaped. Um, but anyway, um, I was thinking about that whole, because the moon's above us, would you be able to see below? Um, but maybe that's because there's no atmosphere and the position of it, I don't know. Because I was always I'm thinking like when you're on the Earth, you can see above, but you can't see below the Earth because of the way um, you know, the land goes off. You know, you'd have to be standing on the edge, as it were, <laughs> if you were on a globe to see it. So then I was thinking about all that. But then, of course, this may just be nothing because we may have never been to the moon. The moon may not be what we expect it to be. So this is based on those those actual things being factual, but maybe it shows um, another lie in hidden in plain hindsight, in the sense that the 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 moon is one fourth size diameter of the Earth. I believe that's correct. I know it's definitely smaller than the Earth. So the curvature should be easier to be seen than on the Earth because the Earth is big. That idea of seeing curvature, you know, would be you know, I was at eight miles or whatever it is. So on the moon, should does that mean it's like a mile? I mean, surely you could see that with your eye or at least with a camera. So surely there should be loads of pictures of uh, NASA astronauts, you know, with, with a bend going around. So I don't know if that means anything or that is important, but it just came into my mind that what would the moon curvature calculator be based on their definitions, if it does exist, if it is real, if we did actually go there. So therefore, shouldn't the footage show us these curves? Because, uh, yeah, and that all came based on that picture. Just that picture never quite makes sense to me how we can see that Earth in the, uh, you know, it's almost as, uh, I don't know, anyway. So yeah, someone else can work that out, whether this means anything or not, whether, you know, it's still too big for us to see that curve with our eye or a camera. Um, but yeah, that was just what came into my mind. Um, the other thing was about um, not everyone knowingly will be pursuing this idea of the, the globe. I was thinking about, you know, when you know, TV programs, people who write films and stuff, especially science fiction, you know, it'll always have the globe in it and this, that and the other. And then people will say, oh, this person is a, is a, like a shield or they're working for the government or they or the Illuminati, you know, to, to program us or what, this, that and the other. But I was in common sense thinking that, I mean, before, you know, I like science fiction. I like writing. Um, I've written things, poems and, and stories that use the earth as a globe you know, planets, all that kind of thing. But that didn't mean that I was being paid to, to do those things or part of this big deception in the sense that I wasn't knowingly doing it. I believed what I was shown and then just incorporated that into my stories. The same as you'd incorporate a car or the sky or, or food or whatever, you know. So in some ways, if this does turn out to be that it is a lie and that the earth is flat, it, whoever did this is this crazy in a way or an amazing in the other that you could just tell people things and show them things and you can make people believe whatever you wish and they will because like I believed in the, the pictures that I've seen, I believe in what I've been taught by people who also haven't seen the actual thing themselves like I've never seen from space I've never seen, you know, that, you know, that the earth is round from my own eyes. I'm basing it on what I've seen on television and, and school teachers and other people. The same as those people who taught me also didn't see it. And those people before them didn't see it. My parents didn't see it, my brothers, my sister, you know, whoever. 
um, didn't see these things. So it shows that if that, you know, I guess that shows how it's easy to, to, to tell a lie because you don't need to see things to be able to say you know them. Maybe that's how a lot of fallacies come about in a sense, isn't it? That's a stupid way of doing things, isn't it? But then of course you have to have that kind of trust because otherwise how would we ever learn? Because we learn from books, we learn from people, we learn from word of mouth. That's how people have done it for generations, people passing down things through telling each other through thousands of years. So it's impossible to, to get around that because that's how we do it. Sometimes it's because it's impossible to do these things. Sometimes it's because it's the easiest or most logical or the way we've always done things. But yeah, that just, just came to my mind that a lot of times we assume that everyone's part of this, but you know, you don't have to be part of this to tell that lie. You just have to have been brainwashed, schooled, programmed, believe in it to keep, uh, keep saying it until someone sh uh, puts a mirror up in front of you and says, oh, wait a minute, did you think about this? Where did you get this from? And the other thing I was listening to today on Poncho Pete's, uh, they were talking about God. Um, and they were talking about how, you know, some people couldn't believe in God because of all the terrible things that happened. I'm sure I've mentioned this before, that, you know, all these terrible things that happened, most of them are man-made, you know, famine, you know, people dying because there's lots of medicine. God promised medicine and for every disease, and I think it's in the Quran or Hadith. Um, so, and we know that we find lots of cures from nature and things. It's just maybe it hasn't been found or maybe it's been stopped to be found because sometimes these pharmaceutical companies, maybe they're making more money out of keeping people sick but not curing them by keeping them alive by tablets rather than actually the cure. But the thing I was thinking of is that, um, you know, people, you know, want men, you know, say that, oh, God's cruel. And I was thinking about an analogy of how, well, one minute, you know, God is love and, uh, you know, your, your parents, would you blame them for, um, you know, if bad things that happen outside? Does that mean your parents don't love you? Of course your parents love you, but they have no control over what happens outside. Well, do they have control? Some, they, yeah. Who, what do you mean you don't have control? Everyone has control, don't they? But then, and then I was thinking about that, that analogy doesn't quite work because God has complete control of everything because he created everything. Um, but then I was thinking, well, wait a minute, if, what are you actually asking? You're asking for God to, to make everything perfect and not have all these bad things. Well, wait a minute, then if you're actually asking for that, you're then asking him to take away free will. And that's what he's given you. And that's why all these bad things happen. Because God has given you free will to do whatever you like, everyone to do whatever they like and as, as a trial, as a test, and then based on the good and bad you do is where you start off going to heaven or hell until eventually everyone ends up in heaven, having been cured of, their, of the things that they did on this earth. So the, the fact is that if you want free will, God can't be interfering and changing all these things otherwise what's the difference between if he makes all of us good yeah and makes us not sin and makes us not uh, not give everyone everything and makes it so children don't die well, wait a minute why do children die Are children die because of diseases or, or man-made things you know like get run over and stuff like that who run them over it was a man who made that car it was a man the the disease yeah there's a disease out there some of them are man-made some of them are nature there's, there's cures out there we waste a lot of money having a million different pharmaceutical companies not working together all this stuff is possible yeah within our own domain if we really wanted to do it but you want to take that all the way and get god to solve that and wave his magic wand and everything's perfect then you're all robots and then you don't have free will so that's why it's like that god has given you all free will and now it's up to all of us to actually do the right thing and that's where the mistake is made. It's not God who made that mistake, it's man that's made that mistake. And they're continuing to make that mistake every single day by not noticing that. That we have free will and we can do whatever we wish. And everything is, is, is above it, is, 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 is ready for us. If we work together properly, yeah, rather than competing against each other for money, like these pharmaceutical companies do, there's so many of them, they all compete. If they work together, then you don't think they would find a cure quicker? How many different uh, cancer trusts are there, heart trusts, HIV AIDS trusts? How many different research uh, laboratories, how many different pharmaceutical companies all working against each other, 
providing how many different paracetamols are there? Do you really need 100 different, you know, Tesco's paracetamol, Boots paracetamol, some other pharmaceuticals paracetamol? How many do you really need? Why is there different, different ones? Because of money, because of competition. And what a waste. We are wasting our time. It's us. Everything out there that's happening is because of the free will that we've given and it's us to blame. So don't blame God for the free will that he gave you. He didn't put you in chains. He didn't make you robots. He gave you the ability to do everything you, that you can. You can do good, you can do bad. Well, if you look around you, then you need to decide which one's happening and why that's the case and who's to blame and how we can change that so that everyone does good and we work for, we, we don't squander and abuse this free will that God gave us and blame God for that. Take care, take it easy, God bless and peace.